Hi, it's a lipstick gal. Thank you so much for watching today. I wanted to talk about my favorite types of lipstick for summer. I really wasn't planning on doing a video like this, but because I talked about the eyeshadow palettes that I reach for for summer and the blushes I've kind of been craving for summertime, I've had several people ask if I would do a lipstick video. And the reason I wasn't planning on doing it is I've been doing so many dedicated lip videos in the last six weeks. I was like, nobody wants to hear about lipstick again. I am more than happy to talk about my favorite makeup item at the drop of a hat, so thanks for asking. So today I have, with the exception of one item here, everything in front of me is in bullet form. And the reason is, is I, I have a completely different video where I'm talking about lip glosses, about lip oils. I'll link that in the description bar down below if you wanted to watch that. I love a glossy kind of sheer glassy lip for summer. So don't think just because I'm not really talking about that here that I am not like a gloss fiend. Um, but go ahead and check that out. That's in the description bar. When I'm thinking about the sorts of things I like to wear for summer that aren't glosses or lip oils, I like a wide variety of things. I like things that are really sheer and hardly there all the way up to a bold matte punchy color. You're going to see the whole spectrum here today. Um, and I've got a lot of different price points for you and I think that's helpful. The other thing I want you to remember is you don't have to go out and get the exact lipstick I'm talking about. If it works for you and you think it would uh, work well in your collection, that's fine. But think about what you already have and think about the sorts of shades you like to wear. Sometimes putting ourselves outside of our comfort zone we realize, oh my goodness, they look amazing in this. Or you're like, you know what? There's a reason why I always wear my trusted favorite. And I think that there's still room to play with that trusted favorite in that window, maybe going for a, a sheerer formula, or maybe going for something a little bit more opaque. You can play within that shade range you're comfortable in, but still have some variation for summer. Um, and I, I feel like a lot of what I have here is a lot of really sheer and comfortable <laughs> lipsticks because truthfully, the older I get, the more of that I crave. I'm gonna start by sharing the one that I have on today. This is one that I haven't had that long, but I love this formula. I've had this formula for a while, but I got a new shade and I'm head over heels, and it's this. This is why I sell the Bold. This is shade 1968 Nude Statement, and it looks like this, and it is one swipe right there. It's a creamy, slightly shiny, hydrating, and feels so good on the lips, cream lipstick. I love a cream lipstick. Like I've used enough of it, like when you have as many lipsticks as I do, to like be down there already. I've been reaching for this one quite a lot. Um, this lasts about, I don't know, I'd say six hours on me. Sometimes I can lose a little bit in the middle if I'm drinking from a straw like I am today. But I feel like this works really well. If that does happen and it starts to get a little thin in the middle, if I'm you know, drinking from a water bottle or a straw or a coffee mug, I can usually just smush my lips together and redistribute product. This makes my lips feel good and comfortable. This type of pink leaning nude is one of my favorites. I, I think some people would say, you're wearing a pink lipstick and other people would be like, that's such a pretty nude. And I feel like this sort of formula and the shade, I have a ton of lipsticks that have this sort of a overall look to them because they're my favorite sort of nudes to wear. I learned a long time ago, I look better in a pink leaning nude than in a peach leaning nude. So most of my nudes are going to be similar in shade to this. Now, if you're looking for something that is just as luxurious, but not quite so pink. I like this lip power from Armani. I just noticed they came out with mattes and I was like, <gasps> what? And I haven't, okay, I'm just like holding off. Um, but I got this recently and this right here is a little bit more nude, not quite. It is still a pink leaning nude, but it's a little bit dialed down. Again, creamy, comfortable, and you get a lot of pigment in one swipe. I really do like the teardrop shape of the applicator. This one's beautiful. This, by the way, is shade 109. Other nude lipsticks that I have been head over heels for, and this is a completely different formula. This one right here is from Dior. This is their velvet lipstick. It's a matte. It's beautiful, but it feels like a cream. It glides like a cream. This is shade 100 nude look. So if you're looking for something that's kind of nude leaning, lipsticks like this are great. If you want a cream version or you want something that's matte, this is fantastic. I decided to throw this one on so that you could see what it looks like. It does have a really pretty, slightly gray undertone to it, 
just a hair. It does have a very strong floral scent to it. I find that um, both the YSL and the Dior lipsticks are really highly fragranced. I don't think there is no, no scent to the Armani. So if you're sensitive to scents, just keep that in mind. But what I love about this is when I press my lips together, it feels like a cream lipstick. It wears like a cream lipstick. And if I ever feel like my lips are getting a, a little bit um, dry, I can just quickly add another layer on. I love it. And I feel like I don't have to be as careful or precious with this because it's not really a bold and punchy color. So I can skip wearing lip liners with lipsticks that are kind of these shades here. Um, and I love that. But I do love wearing a matte in the summertime and I do love wearing kind of like these lighter pink leaning nudes. One of my favorite types of lipstick to reach for in summer is kind of like a sheer, glossy, almost balm-like lipstick. One of my favorites is from Lisa Eldridge, her luxuriously lucent lipstick formula. There's quite a few of those in here, um, is one of my favorites. This one here is called Meet Me in Berlin, and it is the easiest 90s brown lipstick. I remember loving brown lips in the 90s, but I always looked a little bit strange. I feel like the shades that uh, that I could find that <laughs> I thought looked good on me didn't quite get there, but this one is so beautiful. It's so easy. And there you go. It's, it's sheer. It lets your natural lip color show through. It's glossy. It's comfortable. I love, love, love this formula. Another one from that same formula line from Lisa that is not really a, a brown, but kind of, you know, in that, what color are you wearing? Is this one right here. This one's spirited away. You can see that it has a little bit more of a rosy lean to it, but there is some definite brown in there. And this one, when you throw a little bit of this on the lips, I, I like to cocktail these together frequently. And sometimes I'll just wear it kind of like right in the center, like the bottom of the lip and the cupid's bow area won't take it all the way to the edge. It really changes the way my lips look and I love that. So I love like shades like this. When I was going through my collection, I was like, what else do I have that is um, similar but not quite as expensive? Because Lisa's lipsticks are in the 30 plus dollar range. Um, but I was remembering that I love these guys. These are the Rose Comforting Lip Colors from Wet n Wild and these are five bucks. So here's one that I wear all the time. This one is in Taffy Daddy and it is a sheer, comfortable, glossy lipstick. Another one that's great in that same lineup is called Pecan Glaze. It's a little bit more brown leaning. And this one here, I could tell that I was pressing too hard and it kind of chunked up on me. Let me just spread it out a little bit. It doesn't do that on my lips, only on the back of my hand, but it's such a pretty color. If you like um, things that are sheer but glossy at the same time, these ones from Wet n Wild tend to have a little bit more of a um, kind of a sticky, almost lip gloss feel to them, where the ones from Lisa are definitely a more elegant formula. They feel like a lip balm. But I, I definitely see how we're kind of in the same family and the same idea here. Now, I wear the ones from Wet n Wild all the time. I love them. They're easy to throw in a pocket. They're easy to throw in a purse and to take with you. They're super easy to reapply and they work really, really well. I also love this type of product where you've got kind of like a gloss in stick form. Here's one from the drugstore from About Face. This is really scented. <laughs> I'll just say that. Um, I feel like the ones from Wet n Wild, they smell like ingredients. I, I wish they'd put like a sweet scent in these because all I can smell is the ingredients and it's, it's almost like on the verge of, are they off? I haven't had them that long. They're still new-ish. I've only had them for a couple of months, but I'm already starting to wonder, you know, like maybe a little vanilla would have helped, but these guys are really highly fragranced. I've been thinking about getting the red one, but I have the shade Kiwi Fuzz. But do you see how glossy, but this one is definitely a more opaque version of what we've got going on here. Um, but I love wearing something that's super shiny, super glossy. And this is one where I will, put this color you know, on one, like the upper lip and um, share it around by smushing it. So I get more of a color like this, which I really like, but it's beautiful when it's fully opaque. Here's another one. This is more of your luxurious 30 plus dollar 
Hourglass. This is the Phantom Glossy Lip Balm. I have the shade Slip. This is such a pretty, easy lip product. Look at this. It's kind of like that pinky, sort of nude, super, super glossy. Um, and it, it's one of those that clicks up a little bit at a time. I, even though I like this, I don't know that I would get another because I feel like what this does, I can get from other things that are a little bit more affordable, like these guys from Wet n Wild. Now, are they as luxurious and cosmetically elegant? No. This one doesn't have a fragrance to it, and it feels really good on the lips, but it doesn't really last that long, so I burned through it. One of my favorite formulas, I think I have three of these, is the Lip Cushion from M. This is in the shade Mona Lisa. Again, one of those really pretty kind of neutrally pink leaning browns. It's so, so easy to wear. As you can see here, I definitely have a type. There's a wide range of prices here from the 30 plus dollars stuff all the way down to your more affordable drugstore with the Wet n Wild and the About Face. There is a ton of products out there and this kind of glossy, sheer, you know, brown lean to the lips is so pretty and so easy, especially if you're doing kind of like an all bronze look. These are the perfect sorts of lipsticks for that, you know, just laying by the pool sort of look. I kind of broke these lipsticks up by color family a little bit. These are kind of more cooler and berry leaning. The one that I have been addicted to since it arrived is this. This is the Make Serum Balm Intense in the shade Majestic Mauve. So this is the only non-bullet product I have here, but I can't stop wearing this. It's so pretty. I love how no fuss this is. This formula is so good. I started out with a different shade and I had to get another because I loved it so much. I do have the regular serum balm formula as well, which is really lightweight. They all feel very nourishing, very hydrating, very plush and cush on the lips. It's almost like a, like a layer of, of bubble wrap. I always think about that. It feels very nourishing, very protective. Um, this is what Majestic Mauve looks like. If you love a cooler toned, but glossy sheer lip for summer, you might really love this. I wasn't sure when I pulled it out cause I was like, oh, that's pretty dark. And I was worried it was gonna be purple. If I put too much on, it's not the most flattering shade on me, but like this, it's just enough to pull cool. So if I'm wearing a cool blush or a cool eye, it kind of pulls it all together. And I really, really love this. If you want something that has a little bit more vibrancy, but is still glossy and comfortable, I love this formula from Rare. This is the Dewy Lip Balm and this is the shade Compliment. This is a little bit more berry in tone, but definitely more opaque. Um, it's not quite as sheer. It is a beautiful, and can be, if you build it up, a really bright, punchy statement shade. If you love more berry tones, you would really, really like this. Um, but again, it's one of those that's not too heavy. It is definitely more on the sheer side and a little bit cooler. Now, you might have known about this shade for years. I remember using this when I was in high school, all through college, all through my early, late 20s and early 30s, and then I kind of lost track of it. And I got one of these um, for the first time in several years in a holiday kit, and it's the Clinique Almost Lipstick in Black Honey. Now, I know that this is kind of like a hero product for Clinique, but I totally get it. If you want a barely there, but kind of cooler option, this is one of those that looks good on almost everybody. I have not met a person this doesn't look good on. I've met people where it's their favorite holy grail and other people are like, yeah, it's okay, it's not my favorite. So, but I feel like it really does work well and it is a little bit darker. Um, and one swipe, like if you want just a little something, it doesn't have to be built up, but when you continue to layer it on, it makes such a huge difference. If you want something that's a little bit more affordable um, and not quite the same, but in that vein, I love these products from Burt's Bees. These are the Gloss and Glow, and this is the shade Eat, Drink, and Be Cherry. So it does look very similar in application. It's not like a full on dupe because I feel like the color is a little different. This one is a little bit darker. This one has a little bit more berry to it. It's slightly glossier, but these feel amazing on the lips. And I think these are under $10 where I feel like the ones from um, Clinique. Now, if you were to get the full size one, the silver tube, 
you're probably looking 20 plus dollars for that. And this is under 10, so it's less than half the price. I really like these. I was able to get this and another one that I love so much, a different color of this formula um, from Ulta, but I don't know, I feel like it's harder and harder for me to find this product um, in various retailers, but if you can find it, this is fantastic. Now, if you want a more luxurious but beautiful berry lipstick, I love the shade Night Thoughts from Lisa Eldridge. It's one of those berry toned sheer lipsticks. So it can look like a lot if you build it or if you just do a sheer wipe, it can look just like a hardly blotted lip and it's fantastic. This is one that I absolutely love. So it's a little bit darker. Um, this tends to have a little bit more red in it. This tends to have a little bit more gray in it. There's a little bit more brown in through here. You can see the variation, but this idea of a slightly sheer but berry toned lip is stunning for summer. And I feel like if that's the shade, like if your comfort shade is a berry lipstick, what happens if you go more opaque or you go a little sheerer? Let's talk about some red lipstick. You know I love a red and I have like a plethora of reds out here. Um, but I'm gonna try one on for you that I haven't even tried yet. Like she's brand spanking new. I haven't even used her once. Um, this is a limited edition shade from Merit. It's her signature lip lightweight lipstick. I love the formula. This lipstick here makes four in this formula that I have. When I continue to purchase again and again and again different shades, it means that I'm really in love with the formula. This shade is one that they released at the holidays. It's called Aperitif, but it's a beautiful straight up red. Ah. This is the epitome of a low maintenance red. I love this. <laughs> um, this definitely has that same feeling if you're familiar with the formula, there's one swipe. It can be sheer, I do have it layered up, but I'll tell you, this is what I love so much about this is it feels good on the lips. It also feels nourishing on the lips while not feeling heavy. Um, I do have like a ton other of these guys. They're usually within reach because I do really like the formula, but I really have been wanting a red red. Uh, and, and this is like the easiest sort of low maintenance. Will I need a lip liner? Probably not. Would it look better with the lip liner in a couple hours? Probably, but I kind of don't care. You know, in the summertime, I'm kind of a little bit looser with like my makeup all over and I want it to look a little bit lived in. And this definitely feels like it's going to do that beautifully. But if you want something that's a little sheerer, one of my favorites, it's actually a lip balm. It's from Honest Beauty. This is their tinted lip balm in the shade Blood Orange. So it looks like this. Here is Blood Orange. It's definitely very different. It's not nearly as opaque. This is definitely your tinted lip balm. But if you want to dip your toe in like the red pool, this might be a good place to start. It is a little bit warmer red. It has a little bit more of that tomatoey orange lean to it. It's not quite a blue red, um, but this is a really great place to start where you don't have to go full on red, where you can try something and see if you like it. This formula also comes in a wide range of beautiful shades, but I like that last time I checked, it's $9, it's easy to get, it's a drugstore product, but it still delivers that comfortable ease that you want in the summertime on your lips. This is fantastic. If you want another really affordable, but beautiful sheer red, I like the Rose Conditioning Lip Color from Wet n Wild. I have it here in the shade uh, Cherry Syrup. It's definitely a little bit shinier. You can thin it out if you want something that's not quite so intense. It looks fantastic on the lips and these feel really good on the lips. I really like this red one. I think that this formula is a smash hit for $5. If you're interested in something that's a little bit more cosmetically elegant with a little bit nicer packaging because like, <laughs> These guys here, they definitely have uh, more of that drugstore vibe. I feel like the packaging is better on the Honest Beauty because I've had problems with the, you know, lightweightness of the ones from Wet n Wild cracking already. I haven't had them that long. But if you want to step up from there in packaging, in formula, um, in experience all over, I love the Ultra Lips from uh, Glossier. This is their kind of watermelon shade called Fet. It's another one of those glossy reds. It's so pretty on the lips, but this one here, it leans a little bit more cherry, where this one definitely has a little bit more warmth to it. And you can see the difference here in formula. But these to me all fall into that easy, 
um, you don't need a liner, kind of a summer red lip. If you want a fun, comfortable, sheer, like low maintenance red for summer, but you want a luxury version of that, I love the posh lipsticks from Victoria Beckham. This shade here in, I think this is pop. Look at that. Yeah, it's great. I sometimes will put it on like one lip and then like smush my lips together to sheer it around so it's not quite that opaque. It's a little bit more like this because I'm really looking for something for that kind of lived in easy look. In the winter time, I'll take a liner. I'll make it absolutely perfect. But in the summertime, I'm kind of like, ah. So I like my lipstick to look a little bit more lived in, but I love this shade. It's definitely more vibrant. A newer one to my collection that I have really been liking is this lipstick from Gucci. This is the shade Red Odaly, and this is definitely more of an orangey red, but it's so gorgeous. This is their satin lipstick. And I tend to do the same thing that I do with all the ones that are a little bit more pigmented. I sheer them out. So if you want a warm leaning lipstick, Red Odaly is beautiful. They do have other shades of red that tend to be a little bit more neutral red or cool leaning red, but I really like the satin formula. This is fantastic. Now the one that I have repurchased the most and is kind of like my OG favorite sheer lightweight glossy red lipstick for summer is from YSL. This is the Rouge Volupte Shine and this is the shade number 45. I'm just going to swatch it across the bottom. It looks like this. Um, this is the shade Rouge Tuxedo. So I definitely love a more lightweight creamy and on the sheerer side. I do have some really bright and bold pigmented reds that I wear in the summertime, but a lot of time I want something that's low maintenance that I can just, you know, throw on at a stoplight or if I'm hanging out in the backyard chatting with friends over a glass of lemonade, I don't need a mirror to put it on. I like how all of these lipsticks really fall into the easy to apply and reapply area. I feel like because I do have those fine lines around my lips, the older I get, sometimes I'll pull out a mirror, not frequently, and I'll just kind of run my nail like right along the edge to make sure I don't have any of these glossier formulas kind of going into those fine lines. But I love the way that these make my lips feel and look. It's just a little bit of color without being too much. It's super comfortable. And this is the epitome of a low maintenance red where it's sheer, where it's not like highly pigmented, where it's just a little bit and a little color that you can dab on and easily reapply without a mirror. Last category is a really intense, punchy, vibrant lipstick. Now, none of these are gonna be in the same kind of color family. They're all a little bit different, but it's more of that intense, bright, brings so much life and color to the face. That's what I love. Um, and in summertime, I do love almost neon lips. <laughs> I know that sounds weird, but I think you'll get what I'm talking about. Here is one that I love from the drugstore, super affordable. This is the Hydra Matte from Essence. I have the shade in Coral Competence. This one, like, it's such a bright and beautiful shade, and this formula is really nice and comfortable. This smells like a watermelon Jolly Rancher. Isn't this shade fabulous? This is one of those lipsticks that I was like, how can a, a lipstick from the drugstore that's like $5 be this good? I am so impressed with this. It is a really bright, punchy, in-your-face shade, and I love that about this. Um, this formula is, now it's not the best matte lipstick at the drugstore. I feel like the ones from Maybelline are really good. I really love the Milani matte fetish lipsticks. This is a really good one though. Like if you're looking for something, if you wanna try a color you wouldn't normally try and you don't wanna spend too much, I feel like going for these more affordable lipsticks is a great way to do it. Um, I know that definitely feels a little Barbie with the hot pinkness of it all, um, but I, I really like it. I like the little touch of having like the E for essence, you know, right here on the bullet. Um, but I feel like it wears really well. It's such a pretty kind of coral, uh, it's it's not a red, it's not a pink, it's just like a whoosh, right there in your face and I love this so much. The last three that fall into this really bold lipstick category are all Lisa Eldridge. I feel like Lisa has an incredible eye for color and I love wearing her really bright 
punchy shades of lipstick. She's got a couple of different formulas. This is one of my favorites. It's that luxuriously lucent. So it's the sheer balmy. This one though is called Wonder Wheel. Look how bright and punchy that is. It's like a, a slightly desaturated version of this. The intensity is dialed down. It's sheer. It's a little easier to wear because it's glossy and it's not quite so opaque, but I love a bright, punchy coral shade. Another one that I love, this one kind of leans um, a little bit more on the red side, but it's not really a red red. This one's called Strawberry Shock. This is one of Lisa's insanely saturated lipsticks, so it's more of a demi matte, um, but it has crazy, crazy color, and it is so bold and in your face. I love these bright, punchy colors, especially in mattes for summertime. The last one I wanted to swatch for you is another insanely saturated, and this one here is uh, called Skyscraper Rose. This is one, like, you can't miss it when you, like, look, boom, right there. Like, these bright, punchy colors really bring me joy. When I'm wearing one of these bright, punchy, vibrant colors that is so eye-catching. I tend to keep the rest of my makeup, you know, really minimal. I don't want to do too much. I want all of the focus to be right here. And then I am crazy persnickety about making sure I don't have anything trailing out in lip lines, that I pair it with a good lip liner, that I make sure that if I'm eating, like, do I want to wipe it all off before I eat so I don't end up with lipstick where I don't need it? Or will this lipstick handle eating well without getting places I don't want it? Like, I feel like this one, I need to take off, but if I'm wearing one of Lisa's and I'm not eating like a burger, <laughs> um, I feel like I can eat a meal and be just fine. But I really love these bright, bold, punchy shades. These not reds. If you love a bright, punchy shade, think about, you know, maybe do I want one that's really opaque? Do I want one that's sheer? Do I want to try something that I haven't tried before? Let me remind you again that you don't need to run out and get any of these lipsticks. The best place to start is to start with what you already have. And think about the types of things you like to wear in the summer. Do you like glossy? Do you like shiny? Do you like matte? Do you like sheer? Like think about what it is you like to wear and what you wear all the time. And if you wear that same type of lip product all year long, what happens if you bump yourself just one space out of your comfort zone by either shade, or opacity, do I go sheerer, do I go more opaque, um, or do I try a different formula? Am I always wearing a gloss, should I pull for a lipstick? Or if I'm always wearing a lipstick, what happens if I get a lip gloss in the shade that I'm most comfortable in? Or sometimes just like jumping head first into a lip formula or lip color that you normally don't wear, but you think would look fantastic on your skin. The other thing I wanna remind you is most places in the US have a return policy, even for products that you've tried. They don't have to be brand new, unused. Um, if you have, like you take it home, you put it on, you're like, no, this formula doesn't work for me or this color makes me look like death on a cracker, return it, try something else. Um, make sure that you make your dollars work for you. I really feel like there's a lot of beautiful products out there and I wear a wide range of sheer and hardly anything to like, boom, here are my bright coral lips. I love the full range glossy, shiny, balmy, matte. I want to try them all. Um, but I want to know what your favorite types of lip formulas to wear in the summer are, and do you have a favorite shade? And what happens when you bump yourself outside of your lip comfort zone? Let me know in the comment section down below. Thank you so, so much for watching. I'll have all these products, as many as I can, linked below as well. And I will see you again soon.